Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome back for this week's Monday Motivation. This week's tip for you is actually not a tip, but it's a question that I think so many of us need to remind ourselves of and come up with good answers for. And my question for you today is, what are you willing to and what are you going to trade off or sacrifice in order to achieve your goals? Now, for so many people, they want everything. They want amazing health, an amazing career, an amazing family, an amazing social life, an amazing, um, I don't know, bank account, whatever it is. But they don't always own up to the fact that basic economics dictates that you can't get something for nothing. If you want all of those things, you have to be willing to trade off other things in order to get or achieve or deserve them. I know this sounds like such an obvious point, but I think one of the things that always surprises me about a lot of entrepreneurs, not not most, um, I wouldn't say that, but a lot of entrepreneurs is that they get so excited and gung-ho and, um, you know, sort of into the idea of being an entrepreneur and all of the sexiness that it sort of conjures up uh, in this day and age, um, but they forget all of the ugly side. You know, they think of, they hear the headlines about, you know, unicorns and, you know, companies being bought by other companies and startup successes overnight. But what they don't always recognize and cover in a lot of those glossy headlined articles is all of the sacrifice and time and effort and sweat and blood and missed outings with friends and um, canceled holidays and all of these other things that had to go in to enable that success. So what a lot of entrepreneurs do when they're first getting started is they have this really naive idea that, oh, well, I can start my business, but I don't have to sacrifice my lifestyle. Oh, I can, you know, be my own boss, but I can still go out with my friends. I can still eat out four times a week. I can still go on all of the holidays I used to go on when I was getting paid by somebody else, um, you know, I will be able to maintain whatever level of lifestyle and comfort or whatever else I had before, even though I'm an entrepreneur. Now, I hope this isn't news to any of you, but hopefully it is also painfully obvious how naive it is to think that way. And it's only by being very conscious of the fact that you will have to make sacrifices and trade-offs that you will then be able to truly become an entrepreneur. Look, when I first got started in our business, I was my own boss. I was working full time and building and growing our property business. Um, and, you know, for the past, uh, gosh, almost six months now, building and growing Entrepreneura. And at every point in that building stage, especially in the early days, I said no to a lot of things that I would have loved to do. I didn't get lucky. I didn't just end up here, um, here being sort of with the success I've achieved to date because of some good fortune. I busted my ass and I gave up on a lot of things that other people just weren't willing to give up on. So I was that person who said, you know what, guys, sorry, I can't come to that show with you. Hey, I'm not going to go to the pub tonight. Oh, by the way, that holiday that you're all going to, uh, you know, for the weekend, not going to be able to do it. And I just had to get good at saying no. And to recognizing the fact that what that while it was a short-term pain of saying no to social events or to things that I liked or to some degree of um, sort of luxury and spending, it also meant that I was saying yes to establishing a solid foundation for my business. And I was saying yes to the future success of my business. I know you guys don't think that simplistically, but so many entrepreneurs do. They say, I can have this without giving up that. But actually, that's not how it works. You have to give up a little bit of this so you can get a little bit of that. And it's only by recognizing that and owning that and then living in that reality that you will be able to achieve and get a little bit closer to achieving the big vision for whatever it is that you are trying to do. So my question for you is what are you going to and willing to trade off or sacrifice in order to achieve your goals? I would love to hear the answers in the comment section below. So please, uh, please do comment and let me know. And uh, that's a slightly more tough kick up the butt uh, but bum <laughs> backside than usual, but I think it's an important message. So take 
whatever you will from it, but I hope it does motivate you and just reassure you that if you are that person who's saying no now, you're not doing it in vain. You are making trade-offs. You are being thoughtful about what it, you will need to give up in order to get the success that you are after. Have a great week ahead and I'll look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye.